battle of youth versus experience at the Asian so continent next 2022 round number 8 divya opens her game with e4 padmini plays the sicilian and divya is thinking should i go for the open sicilian no she goes for the check bishop b5 knight to d7 now padmini is leading the tournament with six and a half out of seven divya is on six if padmini manages to win this game she will be most likely the champion of Asian Blitz 2022. Divya, if she wants to win the gold, has to win this game. She plays her pawn to c3. She's ready to sacrifice this pawn because d4 is what she wants to do and just play it like a gambit. You can see there Padmini taking her time just to make sure whether she can take the pawn or not. It's not such a bad idea to take the pawn, but she just develops, which is also fine. But now Divya says the pawn is no longer available. I defend it with my rook. Next move, I want to go d4, capture the center. So white seems to be doing very well. And if given a chance, would like to push e5 and e6. But Padmini gives no such chance, pushes her pawn to e5. A, a good move here. But it does weaken the d5 square. Divya takes on e5. Knight takes. And now, if you were to take on e5, black would take back. And then the only sort of advantage white has is this d5 square weakness. Divya takes. Pawn takes. And while this position might be pretty decent, pretty equalish in nature, one can really feel that black is doing not so badly. If the knight at some point manages to get to d5, then white could have an advantage. But for now, it's quite far away from the d5 square. Black puts his bishop, puts her bishop on e6. And knight to f3 played by Divya. She may want to pick up this pawn on e5. Padmini goes knight to h5, which is sort of the best move here. She has 2 minutes 17 seconds. Divya has 2 minutes 24 seconds. Bishop to g5. Hitting the rook. f6. An important move here. Stopping the bishop's attack. And also protecting the pawn here. b6 played also to protect the pawn. Black is slowly and steadily improving her position but has to take care of the knight that it doesn't get trapped here. Right now it has the square on f4 so there's nothing much to worry about. Where does Divya go next? What is her plan? Should she go rook d1 to trade the rooks? Looks okay. The other idea is to put a bishop from c6 to d5. That's possible. First she goes rook a to d1. But that is giving up a pawn. Now, whether you want to take that pawn or not is an open question. Because then b3 does trap the bishop. But it was possible. It was possible to take that pawn. Padmini says it's too risky to venture out for a little pawn. A little rook pawn. So bishop f8 was played. And Divya goes bishop c6. The rook comes here and now the bishop settles down on the d5 square. You can play king f7 here to defend your bishop but Padmini takes. And now take with the rook or take with the pawn. You can see that whenever there is a decision to be made, whenever there is a choice, players take their time. Now a very good idea could be knight g7 to e8 to d6. But instead she goes c4 and i think that is a mistake because divya takes advantage of it with g4 a fantastic move here and now if you go knight f4 is one possibility but still knight g7 does look like the best idea with the same concept in mind to go back to e8 to d6 padmini taking her time here whether she should go to f4 or g7 it's an important decision one that will decide who's better for now knight g7 is a way better move time is running out knight f4 has been played that's a blunder because now after takes takes it is some trouble because 
you know the rook can come in the rook other rook can come up the knight has these squares rook e6 played by divya entering the position attacking the pawn on f6 thinking f7 is kind of forced here the time control by the way is 3 minutes plus 2 seconds increment so there is a 2 second increment per move but padmini is now down to 50 seconds she goes rook d6 offers a trade of rook it's a very interesting battle because divya is the current national champion of india while padmini won four consecutive titles from 2014 to 2017 g5 pushed here trying to create some play for the knight on f3 king f7 on the board and now divya is lower on time as compared to padmini what does she do next she can go with her rook to e1 but then the d5 pawn would hang perhaps no she takes on f6 rook f6 knight e5 check first an intermezzo to attack a very interesting intermediate move good calculation king g7 now she takes the rook king takes and maybe her knight settles down on the c6 square because that's a nice square for the knight attacking the a7 pawn a good move there by divya now she would love to push her pawn down the board but for now the knight is hanging so rook c7 played by padmini to defend her a7 pawn rook to d4 excellent move f4 and c4 both are hanging you have to take maybe you have to decide which one to save bishop d6 played here now the c4 pawn is just hanging takes on c4 excellent move white is now better g5 plays rook e4 another powerful move threatening rook e6 to win a piece bishop needs to move bishop c5 b4 is the bishop slowly running out of squares yes it seems so bishop f8 rook e6 check good move king goes up and now rook e8 would be oh she goes f3 she wants to just checkmate the king takes away some of the squares g4 making a square on g5 for the king but now after knight d4 check king g5 rook e8 with the threat of knight e6 for king and also the bishop hanging it's all over also if you go rook f7 then i will take on f8 rook f8 knight e6 and i'll win you can see that divya trying to calculate all of this going down to 10 seconds padmini has 8 seconds on the clock she goes rook e8 finds the move excellent move bishop g7 but padmini didn't fall for it takes on g4 king g4 all of a sudden the king is getting active rook g7 whoa king f3 is this going to be some kind of a mating attack that's being launched takes on c3 black is back in the game in fact black is now better could be close to winning she's one second on the clock she plays rook d7 rook d8 that's a blunder because if you take the rook you're winning but rook g7 king h2 rook comes in king h1 the position is winning for black plays a check king h2 and bishop e1 but now suddenly knight d4 white is back in the game there's no time to think they have to play very fast check take the pawn on h1 no blunders she blunders rook g5 it's a mate if king h6 knight f5 king h4 knight f3 is a checkmate then you see <laughs> divya smiling padmini is upset she was so close to winning this game and also the tournament but with this win divya not only won this game but also won the gold medal eventually what a massive fight that was between two of the finest players of indian chess